It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us south of the border to the vibrant capital of Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Anders Carlson has his teed up, ready to get started. And we are underway from Mexico City. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now a second and 10. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now third down and seven. Throwing his hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Hurts going deep here for Parker. And he's got it inside the 10. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them.
Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll run for the first time with Kenneth Gainwell. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good, and the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. So now it's the Packers' turn to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Love, they go play action now. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. To pass, here's Jordan Love. A complete once again to Watson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And third and one now. Now Love. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field come the Eagles for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. sets up to throw it got a man it's Brown and he's taken down but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line 11 yards for number 11 
And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe that... Well, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And down by a field goal, they'll take over with excellent field position following the interception. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That good for 22 and a first down. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg? and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Nothing like understanding where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Call that a very strong gain of 24. He'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And now it's second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. He'll check this one down to Gainwell. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Buying time to his left. And they'll get this across 
midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. The back deep is Jaden Reed. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now the Packers get set to go. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 26. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to launch this deep for Watson, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. To throw now, here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. 11 more on that one and another first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 58 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. To the left side, there's the tight end Musgrave. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. On second down, Jacobs. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception, and that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball 
but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Joseph's got it. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They run behind center with Gainwell. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Ten three, our score after one here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Second and five, as they've got it as we resume action. Second down, here's Hertz. It's caught, Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Now a second and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. They'll set up to throw. That's to his running back, Gamewell. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 19. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. 
And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Got exactly what they wanted there out of the RPO and had the defense out of position. One word for you there. Excellent. Because he read all the keys properly, made the right decision, and look at the result. Pretty substantial gain. They'll run here with Gainwell. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll drop to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. On first and ten, Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Love looking to throw it. Got Dobbs over the middle. Well, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Counter play with Jacobs. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 
73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Tackle there by big Jordan Davis. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties. And when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, it's exactly what you're looking for. On third down, Love. He's going to air one out. And the Packers are able to stretch out their lead. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Joseph on for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead, it's game well. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with the verbal telestrator here because that D-line has a nose over the center and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield, take on the inside linebackers. If the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. 
And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On third down, it's game well. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Love. They go play action now. short low throw maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there he just didn't look comfortable on that throw no he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery and i think you might have had it right wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back second and ten here's love that's to the tight end musgrave and he's going to be brought down right there at the 29 yard line Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And here's Daniel wheeling on now to punt. This is taken at the 18. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down.
Hurts trying to hurry up the offense. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. But first down, Hurts. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Here's a screen with Gainwell. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Burt sets up to throw it. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to get the football back at their own 17. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Following the interception, Love. And that is incomplete here. Here's second and ten. Now Love. A short throw to Musgrave. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter.
Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That's taken in by Watson, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Third and two. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. The football comes out, Jacobs lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they get the football, they'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And CD, that's one of those plays you put a mark by. I mean, that could be a big momentum swing here in the opening drive of the third quarter. Yeah, we may have to revisit it, right? Because if that drive ends up in the end zone, they're sitting pretty at that point. Now, instead, it's a two-score game that has a chance to tighten up considerably. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Second down and six now. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down. Here's Hurts. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way up those guys. Under pressure, they got him again. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. 
On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Now second and nine. Love now. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. Call it a gain of a yard. And third and eight now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Love from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. And the throw by Love taken in by Watson. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do, and right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Love. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here they come, second and ten now from the ten. Back to throw. He's going deep for Brown. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, and even 90 yards. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. To throw now, here's Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It was Brandon Graham that came in there and got him. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Love. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, you see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And now off to the races down the right side. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one as he just did there. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and 10 coming up. Throwing his hurts. 
And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold out of that one, and it's third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Hurts. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Barkley. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. It's another one that keeps them moving forward. Barkley again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Here's Barkley, and he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will tie things at 17-all. Well, it's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring him level now. I like how you put that in there, that it brings him level, right? Because if you're talking about kicking, bringing that soccer analogy in, I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense set to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Mexico City. Just need a yard here, second and one. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. 
That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. A potential field goal if you're thinking about that. Almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Play fake. Here's Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. 96 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Second down, Jacobs once more. A little joke, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it in Dropped at the run. That good for 22 and a first down. Now that was a big run. It takes them all the way down to the one yard line, and that'll shape the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him because otherwise, you're still to play him back on your heels. And, that and he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A.J. Dillon. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Packers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Joseph connects on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. His throw incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The Eagles on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. But he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the covers we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Up 
Off the play fake, Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. On play action. Love to throw. And this one is incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 129 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs, 41 yards. And the Packers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield in the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation, the catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. That'll be caught by Parker. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. that one for 14 yards and another first you cannot write these guys off just yet not with a quarterback like that under center you mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off 
Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. They go play action with Hertz. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles. And that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. A quick throw here out to Brown. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Burt sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. With the score where it is, this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there. But what a nice job of working his way open, making sure he secured the catch, and setting up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. So that run gets them about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second down. Here's Hurts. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And this is going to depend on his spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. They'll run with Barkley, and this time he is in. Yes. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. 
They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? <laughs> They've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Love, they go play action now. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing. Love. That's complete to Wicks. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That would complete down the field to Smith. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, force the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they got to go thank the guys on D. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. In motion goes the tight end. Barkley inside handoff. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll look to throw here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play call, because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy to the him, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Back to throw. He finds Parker. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. With that pass CD, he's now over 400 yards in the game. And even in a pass-first league, that is still a tough benchmark to hit. And all week leading up to this one, 
all we read, heard about was the confidence he had that he could put up big numbers. Kudos to him for coming out here with that belief in himself and for making it happen. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's down to the 11. They'll come up first and 10 here. Back to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Parker, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. This is first and ten. Now Love. They'll go over the middle to lead complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Here's Love. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take in a two-minute drill. Love. That's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Love looking to throw it. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That's taking a big risk at this late stage. They're not thinking field goal though. They wanted to leave no doubt on that one. So they took the shot at the end zone, but it winds up incomplete. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. 
And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. So it's the Eagles who will get the first chance to go down and find a winner as they'll get it here, and we are back underway. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these off. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Throwing his hurts. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Preston Smith able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. Now back to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The Eagles send out their punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play. And this one complete on the slam round. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Off the play fake, Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, if you like the matchup and that connection works to start the drive, no reason to go away from it. Let that defense prove that they can stop you. And here, it's two throws and two first downs. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Going on the ground with Jacobs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over above 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Second down in the yard. Love. 
short throw to Musgrave. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. Love. That one to the sideline and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Here's Jacobs. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. And that carry, probably not so much for yardage, just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage you game there is really kind of gravy, and this just becomes what my old coach used to say. Get into position to be in position. <laughs> and that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. On second down, Dillon. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Tension building. Here's Greg Joseph. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And there will be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. Well, partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.